Hi Sagittarius, Narai here. Gonna do a reading for you. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Please know to take what fits and leave the rest. If you are new to my channel, my name is Narai. I go by Nay one time. Um, this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Know to take what fits and leave the rest. And let's see what Spirit has for you. We're gonna pull some tarot cards and then some oracle cards. Ooh. All right. Page of Swords in reverse. Queen of Cups. Moon card. Queen of Cups, I said Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Three of Cups, just mixing up those two, Ace of Swords, Two of Swords, Temperance, World, Oh my gosh, stop it. Look. Star card. That came out too. Ten of cups, and then we have the empress. <clears throat> Oops, knocking over my deck. All right. So, I have... You may have been dealing with somebody that just wasn't keeping their word. It's almost like you you could have been involved with somebody. I, I don't this could be a friend, this could be a lover. I feel like it was a a romantic situation. But you may have been dealing with somebody that it's almost like you were dealing with somebody and things were supposed to go someplace and it didn't go anywhere. It's like this person was all talk and no action or this person just said whatever they felt like you wanted to hear. It's like the person's doing the bare minimum and saying what you wanted to hear just to stay in your energy. I feel like you may have Sagittarius had a lot of love for this person been very caring for this person and that may have been why this person did this because this person knew just how much you cared for them I feel like your intuition was telling you that this person was not being honest this person could have been a water sign I feel like this person was talking to you and saying things and willing to take and accept everything that you were doing for them while they were just doing the bare minimum. And you sticking with this person made them feel like it was okay. But it's like you, you had things that you didn't know. You might have been afraid of what the truth really was. This person could have built uh, a, built um, an illusion and had you believing in something that wasn't really true but I feel like you started seeing past the illusion and then you kind of shifted your energy where you were focused on your grounding and you may have pulled back your energy as far as the romantic feelings you had for this person or the desire to be with this person. And you were more in that energy of, okay, I can be caring and generous, but it will be to the people that show me that same energy in my Sagittarius voice. But you had things that you needed to take care of. And it's kind of like, if you're not contributing 
then you don't need to be here. I feel like this person may have been entertaining multiple people or spending a lot of time with their friends. And for you, you were, some of you actually needed support and you went and got it. And you may have realized some things that you didn't realize when you were dealing with this person. You had some clarity in regards to what was going on. And for some of you, you had a really hard decision to make. For some of you, that decision could have been walking away from this person. The decision to, and it was hard, the decision to heal, to heal from this, to heal from this, to work on yourself, to find balance, to, be, to learn to be patient with yourself, forgiving yourself for dealing with this type of person. You didn't know. You were seeing the good. And they know you were seeing the good and they were banking on you seeing the good. And they know you're a caring person. And for some of you, they deceived you because they knew you cared for them and because they knew you loved them. And I will say, cross watcher, feel free to reverse the roles because no matter who I'm doing the sign for, everyone that is that sign is not 100% in the right or in the wrong when I'm doing a reading. So I feel like you had to find your peace Sagittarius, for some of you, it's kind of like, do you stay and tolerate this mess, even though you love this person, or do you let them go and find your peace? And for some of you, you let them go and you found your peace. And some of you may have even had to practice restraint when it came to this person, because when you get around this person, for some of you, you feel weak and it's like, no, 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 no. It just makes me think of Destiny's Child. <laughs> no, 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 no. When your body wants to say, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but I feel like you had to decide to let go of anything that wasn't serving you, people that weren't serving you, and... You too, just like in my Leo reading, may have realized what the patterns were of a relationship and you closed out a cycle because you stopped certain patterns from happening. You were like, no, this is it. This is the end. And you're focused on your healing and focused on the positive and focused on your purpose and focused on the things that bring you happiness. Believing in all the good that is out there and that you deserve it. Having faith, trusting and believing. Wanting to be with somebody that actually inspires you and makes you want to be a better person. And it's not, it just makes me think that for some of you, you want to be with somebody who's an inspiration to you and that you inspire. Not somebody that's just taking and they have nothing that makes you feel like being better, you know? And then we have the Ten of Cups. Part of your healing puts you in alignment with somebody that is going to treat you the way that you want, that they're going to make you feel, how do I say it? Let me say this, nobody's responsible for you feeling whole, but it's like when this person comes into your life, of course you have to already be happy with yourself, but it's kind of like, this must be what it feels like to have a person in your life and, and make you feel complete. You're complete within yourself, but this person is just like the cherry on top. It's emotional balance. 
emotional security, emotional harmony. You and this person caring for each other and feeling su supported and loved. It's an, it doesn't feel like work, like you don't have to wonder where you stand with this person. You're fulfilled in this. And it's, you took the time to nurture. You see your value. This person sees your value. They see you as marriage material. They see you as beautiful, as graceful, as a person that's constantly growing and becoming beautiful with more and more change, the changes that you're going through. I think it is, I think it is something, there's something to be said when you're trying to grow and you're with somebody that does not like your growth. Let me give you an example. <clears throat> and I'm saying this, I'm a Sagittarius North Node. So I feel like my purpose, because your North Node is your purpose. I have felt like for years, my purpose has been for myself. My personal purpose has been to grow, to learn how to deal with things, to master myself. I had been in two relationships where the person I was with got really, really upset in both of these situations that I took time for myself, like 24 hours to listen to subliminals, to not talk to anybody, to reflect within, to see what I needed to work on. They literally, they literally, literally, they really got upset at the fact that I was taking time to grow. And I realized by being with these individuals, they were not trying to grow. And it just makes me think with this Empress card that you have somebody that you can meet if you're a person that's on a self growth journey. You have somebody that you can meet that is going to love the fact that you work on yourself because they know that if you are improving yourself, that you will support them improving themselves. It's such a beautiful thing. And this person sees the positive changes that you make in yourself and also the positive changes you make them want to make within themselves is, is what I gather from this. Ugh. Rebirth, growth, transformation, healing, and fill your way through. Did I just not talk about your changes? Your transformation? Go for it. You already know what you want. This person's going to be like that too. Go for it. They're not going to stop you because of their insecurity and their lack of self-confidence. A person that does not want you to do better is not confident. Your improvement intimidates. I don't see that or feel that with this person. It does not mean that is the case for you. But I hope it is, because that's positive. Stop overthinking it. Hydrate and meditate. Drink more water. Happy success. And one more card. Take action now. I'm going to leave you with that. Sagittarius, I love you guys. Um, I do see career change for somebody. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, babies, love you. Bye.